Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gauntlet Dark Legacy. My name is Brian, your host and commentator. And here we are entering the uh, second level of the final battle. That's right, 100% walkthrough, getting it done, level 97, you know it. We're about to head in here. Um, we have a secret room to, to enter and a secret character to unlock, which is Sumner, the, the wizard guy. So, the Fortified Towers. Let's do it. Yeah, I made some... Uh, I made some homemade, like, French bread pizza. I took, like, a baguette. Not, like, a baguette, I guess, but, like, I don't know, like, French bread or whatever. Like, a big, like, roll. Of, not roll. I don't know. Loaf? Yeah, a giant loaf of it. You know how it's all long and delicious looking? Yeah, I grabbed one of those. And I cut it in half. Not, not like, the whole loaf. I only used, like, maybe a third of it. But I cut it in half, like, hot dog style. The part that I, I'm using, that is, I cut it, I cut, I cut off a chunk and then cut it, cut that chunk in half, hot dog style, uh, to make these, to make like a French bread, you know, pizza base or whatever crust. And then I put, ooh, I just, I just thumped that fucking, the general couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle that either, could you, bitch? So yeah, uh, and then I just put. I wish I had pizza sauce. I love pizza. Like, pizza's... God. Give me some pizza and I'm happy. But, uh... I put some marinara sauce on it. Some, it's like mushroom and green pepper, I think, marinara sauce. I don't know, but I put that on it and then I grab some pizza. It's like pizza blend cheese. It has a bunch of shit in it, like parmesan and mozzarella and all the Italian cheeses, provolone. All that stuff. We gotta go down there. Let's let's uh, do that. We're unlocking a bunch of crazy shit up here. Oh, did I blow something up? Nope. Okay, cool. But yeah, so I, I spread over that, got the, the pizza blend of cheese, and then put like uncured pepperonis, which are delicious, and cut up green peppers on it. Because that's my favorite combo. My favorite pizza combo is pepperoni and green peppers. The pep combo. I love it. Oh, it's so good. And then I put some uh, Italian seasoning. On top of it, of course. Of course. I wanna. I wanna lower that. How do I? How do I do that? I feel like I'm missing something. Maybe there's just stuff up here I have to do that'll raise and lower it. Or yeah, let's see. Let's see what this switch does before I jump to any conclusions. Oh, that just progresses. So we definitely missed a switch. Hold on. Let's go ahead. And, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get that switch. That's a potion. Do I have to break this? I do have to break that. There we go. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. Let's grab this switch. That's going to raise that guy and give us invisibility, which is... I don't know. I guess I could use it here um, soon, eventually, whatever. Right. I'll just use that so I can go ahead and grab that potion and get rid of all those guys. Just clear out this area. All right. Time to take this first bite of the pizza because I've been letting it cool down. Oh, wait. I'm getting attacked. Hold on. I'll let you guys know how it is in a second. What did that do? Alright, I think I loaded some ahead. Alright, let's see how good this pizza is. Ow! No! Hmm. 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 So good. Homemade pizza scores again. Love it. a lot cheaper too. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love ordering from pizza places, especially Ma and Pa shops. They're, oh, they're so good. It's the best. Uh, Michigan has a chain called Jets. Jets pizza that's extremely good. Uh, Little Caesars and Domino's actually came out of Michigan. I was surprised when I learned. Uh, I, I knew Little Caesars was because the owner of Little Caesars also owns the Detroit Red Wings, so I knew that just because I did not want to go down here yet. It's okay, we'll just... Death awaits you around the next bend. Yeah, death is hanging out, I guess. We'll do that and then just go right back up and uh, head up that thing. But yeah, so Domino's is based out of Ann Arbor, Michigan, and Little Caesars was out of Detroit. There's death right there, just chilling out. Don't worry, he's not a black death, so I'm going to go ahead and use that to kill him. Hopefully take out a bunch of guys. Take that death. You're not sneaky. But uh, those are like the two, two big chains that I can think of. From Michigan. I actually don't really like Domino's. Domino's is probably my least favorite pizza. 
out of like all the chains. And I think part of the reason is is that when I was stationed in North Carolina on base, like the only pizza place that you could like deliver from, they had like pizza places in like a little food court looking thing but like the only pizza place you could order from on base was like domino's pizza you could order off base but domino's was just so goddamn convenient because it was right there and i will say that i do really like the artisan pizzas or whatever they are the flatbread artisan pizzas that they do i think those are delicious but uh yeah i don't know they're, they're i just don't really care for that pizza and i would just i ordered it a lot and got really sick of it and now i just don't just don't care for domino's i don't know I think it's like the biggest one, either Domino's or Pizza Hut. They're both like the, those are like the two biggest pizza chains, to my knowledge. Huge. Oh, this is a break of the wall right here. Do a little bit of flip switching. Flip switching. Ooh, a chest. But, um, Jets is a good one. Hungry Howie's, if you know what that is, that's a good one. That's kind of a bigger chain. Um, see, so yeah, Hungry House is good. What other chains? Pizza Hut's alright. Pizza Hut's not too bad. I suppose. I don't know. I'd put it over Domino's. I'd probably... I'd put it over Little Caesars, too. See, the thing about Little Caesars is that they have their little hot and ready deal. So it's $5 for a hot and ready pizza, at least where I live. I don't know how it works everywhere else exactly. I don't even know what to what extent like Little Caesars is known throughout the, the U.S., but uh, they have these five dollar hot and ready pizzas, which aren't the best pizzas, but they're good for what they are. Like just five dollars, a large pizza for five bucks, eight slices. How big is a large? I don't know. It's like fourteen inches. I think a small is ten, medium would be twelve, large is fourteen, extra large is like sixteen. You can get like party trays that are like. 24. <laughs> yeah, there's a place here. Uh, I don't know where if it's anywhere else in the, the country, but there's a place called Tormina's Pizza who have they have the biggest pizza like I've ever seen. They do like a 24 inch pizza. I'm sure other places do it too, but at least around where I live, Jesus Christ, they have an extremely large pizza. I can't believe I destroyed that trap all the way over there. All right, uh, did you find the egg and ham? No, we have not yet. There's actually the egg is right here. Break the wall. So we got Pojo again for like the fourth time. Still don't know if Pojo's useful or not. But yeah, Tormina's makes a just a gigantic pizza. It's so good. These pizza slices are so long. It's crazy. I love it. I love it. Oh, that's <laughs> I was trying to like flip that switch, but it just wasn't happening. Um, brief immortality lies ahead. Oh yeah, there's a breakable wall, that's what it is. I was like, I know it's right here, but how do we access it? Because yeah, it brings up this with a switch, and then you step on that, and then you go on the elevator. Don't know why I went around that pole, but I did. Oh shit. Alright. Whew. I had to get off that elevator, because it was gonna, it was gonna keep me on it. I was gonna go back down. Waste time. Mm. Oh god. It's so good. Mm. I have like three more of these things too. They're not like really big. I guess they'd be like the equivalent to like like each, they're like the, the the equivalent of slice of slices for like a large pizza, I'd say. So I have like four slices of pizza. And it's so good. Mm. Tasty. Oh man, that was a lot. That was too much. I should have took that in two bites, not one. Christ. Let's go ahead and destroy that while we have the. The opportunity. Oh God! All right, hold on. Let me let me see what's over here before I destroy you all. Boom! Come on, get it, get it, get. It. Uh, there we go. All right. 
Yeah, the secret room's all the way at the end of the level. It's not hard to miss at all. Or it's, wait, it's hard to miss? Wait. It's easy to find. There we go. <laughs> I wasn't sure exactly how I worded that. I was like, did I word that properly? I don't really know. But yeah, we're getting there. This level's not too bad, like I said. I don't know. Because this one's more straightforward. It just gets a little crazy with those switches sometimes, but not too bad. Nothing that would, like, deter you or anything, you know. I was hoping that would get further. Yeah, so this unlocked via all the switches. Oh, no, it didn't. I missed the switch. Hold on. I probably, like, lowered something with that one switch. Let's find out. Okay, so the switch was up here. Right. I did that. And it did something. Unless there's a hidden switch that I don't know about. It's being all sneaky. So yeah, I flick I don't know. Fuck. This sucks. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. I think it's supposed to be open by now, by the time you get here, but... Maybe it's a little further ahead. No, nah, it's totally not further ahead. I missed I missed the switch somewhere. Not that we need the gold right now or anything. Sorry, the switch is somewhere back there. I don't know where. You may fight one or three before you reach the exit. Oh, yeah, so that's alluding to the golems so we're going to have to fight ahead. Uh... If you hit a switch, you have to fight like three golems. Like I, I don't, I'll, I'll show you. It's, it's interesting. I like it. I'm gonna fight all three of them anyway, cause I could really use the experience. I'm surprised I haven't leveled up yet. I'm getting really worried. Ugh, there we go. Do that. Wow. It's got some AOE to it. That was quite the area of effect. Let's do it right here too. Alright, if the golem cage is up, then you are in for a tough fight. So there's a golem here, you can attack him while he's in his cage, so I'm gonna do that really quick. Nice and easy. He's a golem! Okay. So there's two switches. And to my understanding, if you... Hold on. Oh god, so th that switch just raised all the golems. So I don't know how you, like, get past it. Because can you... You can't, like, reflip the switches. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I don't understand that. Because you're, you're, like, bound to flip a switch. See, what I did in the other file was I flipped that switch on the left. I went through the left path during my practice run. And it activated all three of the cages, so I thought if I went to the right one, because it had a trap in front of it, maybe most people would be like, oh, let me just go left since there's no trap there. But this one would not lower all those, but I guess I was wrong. I don't know if there's... Can you sneak past it? Or something? I don't know. I don't know, I'm going to handle this golem like a fool, and then uh, we'll, get, we'll get a move on. Actually, let's see, did I get a speed power up? No, of course not. Why would I? Why would I get a speed power up? That's crazy. Alright. It's not too bad. I don't know. I guess the, the secret room isn't too bad. Okay, I'm just gonna wait till I finish this uh, this uh, episode before I continue eating. I'm just, like trying to grab at it, but at the same time I'm like, oh, I don't know. Mm. Handling pools. Alright, so let's go ahead and take out this generator really quick. There's the end of the level. Yeah, and we'll kill all these guys. So yeah, there's the end of the level. This little thing right here is what leads you to the secret room. So we're going to go ahead and enter that. So the the little gimmick here is that this place is like pitch black. Not pitch black, but you can, you can see your guy a little bit. But, uh... Oh, I was hoping that would, uh... Like, I don't know, light up the area. 
So you gotta kind of find all these in the dark, and luckily I know the locations. So you can just follow me. So we made that first right. And then uh, you continue up and go left. Got a special item, apparently. Oh, wait, we missed something. We missed something. Hold on. Or did we? Oh, it's right here. So after you get off the bridge, you gotta go up. Okay. It actually gives you a good amount of time, so don't worry. We'll just continue going straight. Then we're gonna cut backwards, kind of go the way we came. And then we're gonna head back up. Grab this one. There's like. Oh, maybe it's not there. Oh, God. Alright, well, we'll just continue going up. And we're gonna go all the way to the top. Bust a right. There we go. Just continue and go down. Across the bridge. Across this other open area. Alright, we'll grab that one and then we'll come back up and go right. Yeah, you gotta kinda like wander around a little bit because they're not completely like in front of you all the time. There's one over here. There we go. We'll grab this one. And next left we can make. Pass up that, and then yeah, so you grab three and then come back. Let's see if I got it. Oh shit, I totally missed one. I think I know which one. Let's see if I can get to it in time. Go, go, go. And we'll cut right down here. Yes! I knew it! I knew there was one there. I guess I had to go in a little more. Wow. Jeez. That got intense. Alright, well, we've officially unlocked all the secret characters, so congratulations on that. I'm happy you're happy everyone's happy. So now all we have left to do is get one more rune stone, and that's it for the uh, collectibles. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna go do the evil within or something. This has been one of my longer series. I mean, it has 36 episodes. So, I think. Maybe 35. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I guess, yeah, I'll heal really quick. Just buy keys and potions. Alright. Let's get out of here. Still level 97. Oh, boy. All right. I don't know if I should level up and then uh, go into that final level as level 98. Or if we're about to level up once we enter that level. Or if I should hit level 99 before the boss. Or if I'll hit it during the boss. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to do a practice run and see where I get to. We'll see. But with that, yeah, the third portal is open. And I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. So... Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Brian, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.